Hey everyone, thanks for dropping by the channel today. I have a great little video for you. It's using the XS10 here with the 1614, which is what I'm photographing with right now. And I took it down to Dock Square, downtown Rockport, shot some night shots around 7.30, 8 o'clock, somewhere around there. Well, I got some really interesting stuff. I shot some video, vlogging style, and uh, I wasn't really happy with that, so I've got some experimenting to do with that. But I gotta tell you, the low light stuff is pretty cool. And one of the shots, I shot at ISO 160 at f1.4 at a third of a second. And it's pretty sharp, as you'll see. Uh, then I messed up a little bit. I should have had the kept the ISO at around 400, but I raised it to 3200. And so most of the shots are at a hundredth of a second at 1.4. And of course, they're sharp because, you know, got the Ibis going on and a hundredth of a second. So... Uh, you know, a little bit off kilter is what I want, really wanted to do. I wanted to shoot some low shutter speed stuff, uh, and I may be able to do some of that still. But uh, anyway, so hang in there, pass the brake here, and show you what I got. So hi everyone, we're down here in Rockport uh, doing some night low light night shooting. I get a little light behind me. Um, but it's around 7.30 or so, and it's pretty dark out. So we're going to go around town and shoot some scenes. Got some interesting stuff around here around the corner. Uh, so we'll see what it looks like. I'll show you a little bit of video, and then also we're going to be doing some uh, shooting with this 16 1.4. And I'm going to try not to go above uh, 3200 with my ISO. Uh, it's at 6400 with this uh, video, so we're going to see how it looks. So as you can see, as we get tighter and tighter on this shot right here, you can see this girl in the white here is really pretty sharp. This was shot at ISO 160 at one third of a second at 1.4. So far, we got some really, I got a really cool sequence of uh, people eating out here. We got some interesting, um, what do you call it, uh, outdoor, outdoor heaters going. And uh, shot a shot at three, what is it, like a third of a second or whatever it is, at 1.4 at ISO 160. And it's sharp. Oh my God. So the Ibis in this camera is really, really cool. So we're going to go take some more shots. So we got a shot of a kid here loading up some ice cream for a customer and you got the photographer in the bottom half of the frame in between the sundae and the frap. Pretty interesting. I was having a lot of fun. So you can tell here I was focused more on the flowers instead of people walking by. The raw file really opened up nicely with the shadows and it was really pretty dim out, I will say. Boy, this was a real mixed light situation. You got the heaters going on, you got car lights, you got outdoor incandescent lights. I've got to tell you, it was a nightmare. But it really worked out pretty well. Uh, all I had to do was just cool it off a little bit because it's a raw file. I could do that. Boy, we've got some great shots here. Restaurants open, people walking around. Some here on Bearskin Neck, people walking by. It's been great. Uh, so the low light capabilities of the XS10 with this particular lens, the 1614, are really, really nice. Um, still got to get back and look at them, you know, on the computer. But really, I. So far, what I'm seeing in the viewfinder is really nice. You can't go wrong. This is a great little camera for this sort of thing. And, of course, now I'm using it with, um, you know, for video. And it's some video. It looks awesome. I really love the feel of this shot. You know, people around Labor Day looking for uh, things in the windows. Other shops going by. And, uh, you know, with a little bit of the sky showing, it's great. There's a hundredth of a second at 1.4.
Now this last shot uh, of the harbor at night is pretty cool. You can see a star or two in there, but I was focused more on the foreground boats than on the, the motif in the background, so it's not as sharp. So hey, for vlogging, this is, this is great. This camera's pretty nice at this. But you know something? Some things I like about it, some things I don't like about it. The flippy screen for this is perfect. Um, but you know, uh, for stills, I'm not really that big of a fan of it. So anyway, that's it for this week. Oh, we're going to a dark spot here. So that's it for this week. And I hope you like this video. Give me a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. That'd be awesome. So we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.